Hey there, uh, I'm Harv, and uh, I'm a student here at Lampton College, uh, and I'm uh, taking pottery. Uh, this is one of my courses, and uh, I just want to show you one of my pieces of work here. Uh, and I'm going to be showing you a lot of my pieces uh, throughout a few of my blogs. Uh, so this blog I'm going to do on uh, on, on pottery, and uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be pretty good. I hope you all kind of learn something here. So one of my pieces of work was based on Hauling Sea Hauling's uh, book, uh, Paddle to the Sea, and based uh, and I based it on what the National Films Board uh, of Canada made out of them uh, with the movie uh, based on Hauling Sea Hauling's book. And, and so basing uh, the, on uh, it's based on a boy who who, uh, who was actually living up north in the Nipigon country, which is uh, north of Lake Superior, and uh, they came to build uh, this little uh, Aboriginal. Uh, uh, Aboriginal uh, native in a canoe uh, out of cedar log uh, one winter evening, and, and he wonder he started to create create paddle to the sea out of cedar, and then uh, and, and 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 then then eventually uh, eventually uh, it came to sh came to shape and size and uh, what he wanted to do what this little boy wanted to do uh, Kyle up at Tagen he wanted to. Uh, z z uh, he wanted to put paddle uh, in the water and eventually uh, uh, send it, let it go, let it drift uh, down, down to the Great Lakes and uh, out, and eventually out to the ocean. So hence that was called paddle to the sea. And so uh, here's here's a uh, here's a picture of him. Uh, here's paddle right here. The uh, my little version of him, as you can see, he's, he, I, he 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 turned out pretty good and. Uh, oh, now to talk about a little bit about what Kyle Patank did, it, he put a, a some lead along the bottom of the water, bottom of the of the canoe, just so that paddle could stay afloat and upright in the water, and so so that's how he did it. So paddle, so he took paddle out and uh, put him on put him on a little little uh, little hill, and uh, when the snow would melt, he would uh, start to drip down and. Uh, Go at full speed and and uh, land in the water and start to uh, let let the rivers take him and the Great Lakes take him all the way out uh, to the ocean. And of course, paddle had some challenges, as uh, for those of you who've seen the seen the movie. Uh, well, we all we all know the challenges uh, that the paddle had to go through: the big ships, the locks, the whole bit. And then, as uh, you ever see anyone as stalwart as paddle was. But yeah, for those of you who haven't seen the movie, I, I recommend you look it up or even YouTube it. It's on YouTube. YouTube Paddle to the Sea. Go for the the full uh, 28 minutes. Uh, there's a video with the 28 minutes uh, of Paddle to the Sea as made, and it's, it's and I guarantee it's well worth your well worth your time. Uh, it's well worth a half hour. It's a good family thing. I remember watching this in. Uh, Kindergarten and uh, earlier grade school uh, and on the film and uh, on, on a little uh, movie film, with, and it was it was, a, it was a, made by the National Films Board of Canada, and the National Films Board uh, they're about education and and this one one thing paddle here, he, he's really about being about educating uh, you about about achieving your dreams and and knowing that nothing nothing is impossible. Because you never know how far you're going to go. Who knows how far you come. But you just don't know if you don't try. And so Kyle Epitagan did it. And, uh, and, and, and needless to say in the book, uh, for those, you know, he did, it, it, it did achieve. Paddle made it eventually out to the sea. After all these, uh, after all those, uh, after all those uh, obstacles. But he just made it. And it's, it's, it's and really, uh, really keep him protected, Dad. Uh, it, I, Kyle, uh, the little boy, actually had a had a very good idea, and as you can see, as you can see where it says, uh, his, he was clever. He says where it says, "I am paddled to the sea. Please put me back in the water." And so, anyone, I'm someone picking him up, uh, someone would say, "Well, look, I can't keep him. It's not really mine to keep. He belongs in the water, and and, and so, so henceforth. Uh, so if he." He kept a, and, and so he kept going on and on, and, and the contrast, uh, uh, the, the difference between the the story and the the, the book and the and the movie are 
not really much, but it's but just but it's just a small study in contrast. Uh, and and actually, uh, my little uh, my little art uh, piece of uh, paddle, uh, my ceramic piece, it's it's a study in its contrast of itself. Because after when, when I was working on them, I had uh, I had basically was working on something. I get working and working and working and. And and then and this little canoe th uh, thing uh, came to shape and and so I figured wait a minute I can create paddle here and, and so I gave it a try and uh, kept working with them and working with them putting putting all the weight and uh, all the weight into to the work and uh, work that I did and, uh, and and it came out quite well and, and so I actually put them out of the uh, I put them in the uh, uh, so after putting enough work to to put him together, putting paddle together and having having a good mold, uh, they'll they'll hold it. Uh, 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 I decided it was time to put him in the kiln, and he was in the kiln for a while. And then and then, and then eventually, um, I brought him out, and uh, just this past week uh, week ago, I, what I did was was we glazed him in a fluorescent yellow and. Uh, as you, and and after you glaze uh, something, you, you got a biscuit or raku fire, but in the winter we had to bisque, uh, which was inside, and and and, and with the with the special little fluorescent yellow, uh, you can see the it uh, uh, there really became a came out to be a bit of a beige contrast, as you can see uh, you can see uh, see all the contrast is done here. Take 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 a good look, folks. Look at paddle. Yeah, I think he's smiling. <laughs> so yeah, so that's basically a thing. And the thing about art, uh, any piece of art, even including ceramics, ceramics is one of the biggest things. It's it's clay. Clay, you can make whatever you want to make. It's your world, basically. And and pottery goes back long before, even before Christ. So yeah, it's it's very ancient. Ancient art, yeah, mostly used in Egypt to... And to really create uh, expressive stories, like because that's how people people did back did it back in those times. They had to make their own songs and through composition. That in a worldwide, it became a a really uh, developed form of the culture and, and and something that became important to people. With culture slipping away, I feel the important that we need to bring 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 this type of culture back and and, and really pass it down to our pass it down to future generations to our children. And to our grandchildren, and our grandchildren, and our great great grandchildren, and so on and so forth. We need to keep this generation passing down. And we need to bring it back alive, and pass this generation down. And, and then, because art, like, art's one of the best ways to learn. Doing things with your hands. And as you can see, a, a any piece of art will tell its own story, like a big ship. Like say, for example, the Titanic. It told its story. And and and, and have. And and the presence of paddle, the presence of paddle, uh, he told the story himself. Like it told the story itself. Like it, uh, I didn't think he needed a narrator, but it was good. Although narrator is good, but uh, the thing is, uh, the piece of artwork that uh, that the young boy did uh, did up in the Nipigon uh, in the movie actually in the book actually actually told the story itself. Like is and. Uh, and that's like it's, it's like when I, anytime I see a ship like coming through the uh, Saint Clair River here in Sarnia, a, the presence of each ship like any architecture has its own story. A story does not need words. A story can be told by by witnessing sheer presence and size, and uh, and creativity too. So and, and so when I created paddle, this was, was basically to tell me a story. So I was revealing the story for myself to look within, and so the thing about paddles, paddles like what I take from this is that there's nothing you can't do. Do what you want. Who knows how far you may go, but you only know if you try. Only know. You only fail if you don't try. Keep working till you make it. You can. And so uh, yeah, this is so this is, this is how I came to create paddle, and, and I got some other work uh, coming, and I'm. Hoping to display it in uh, any future blogs, and uh, so uh, till then, thank you so much. Wave paddle. So if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Merry Christmas.